So as, as the intro says, I'm from Rockwell Automation. It's uh, pretty much the largest company no one knows about. Probably, yeah? These lights here, the water you drink, it's all, we're all cell automation solutions for cleaning that and operating that. Uh, Cedar Point down the road wouldn't work without components from Rockwell Automation. Some pictures of our products behind us. We're largely a company that uh, sells to engineers and we create products that help people make things, operate things in a, in a uh, consistent and safe fashion. What Rockwell's uh, been um, moving towards is how to innovate in the software space. So to take information out of these impressive industrial systems and make sense of them, make sense of that data and enable uh, people like maintenance people, engineers, and all the way up the corporate ladder to what we call connect the enterprise. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit of a story about, about me. I moved here four and a half years ago. Uh, here's some, uh, some actual Facebook posts of, of me and my wife uh, when we uh, decided to move here. We both uh, resigned from our jobs and we said we're going to dive in to this Rockwell Automation company. I come from a corporate background for about six years and I was actually part of a startup for five years where we burned through 18 million in VC. Separate presentation. Whole point here is I was interested in being able to merge the startup experience I had with the corporate experience I had. And what we did inside of Rockwell was we, we um, ran a startup inside the company. The startup in the of the company wanted to answer a simple question. Can, industri can apps in a traditional, what you would consider a consumer traditional app work in industry and what would it do? So we actually employed some local consultants uh, some, some, some uh, advisors on how to innovate and how to take corporate um, existing uh, procedures and merge them with new, new methods, uh, particularly they focus around lean startup methods and how to move them into the corporate environment. So you see some of our team here and using uh, what we call modern ways of developing software. Uh, we built a new space just down in Mayfield Heights and we all um, we all congregated around a space in the typical corporate world. You've got cubes and people on different sides of the world. But we, we intentionally did it here because of the depth of experience as well as the local community being able to guide us on how to make modern software. So the, the question we asked was, can we drive innovation? And what we did was, in a period of 18 months, uh, we did some rapid learning cycles and uh, created a new product, Rockwell's first net new product, software product in the last 15 years called Factory Talk Team One. And this Team One app essentially takes the concept of, of collaboration and merges it with industrial data. So uh, let me remind you, uh, this app has been out for about three years before the Slack and the, um, and the Skype revolutions on Team enablement and what we did when what we learned is that this is a very powerful thing inside of the industrial sector as well. So it really wasn't about the output product that was the part of the best part about the journey. It was really about seeing a team move from an old older way or an established way that is very proven and very needed in industrial software and industrial hardware to using modern methods and that output of this product one of the other things that we did was we innovated at the core of the app from a technology standpoint. And what's interesting is this is a lot different than the consumer apps you use today. In industrial applications, uh, con connectivity is a big problem. No matter how much you think Wi-Fi has penetrated the world, it hasn't done it in the middle of Kentucky in the largest Toyota plant in the US, okay? You have blind spots, you have dead spots, and there will always be connectivity issues. So we had to rethink the way the app was built uh, we had to decentralize it, and we, had, and we all actually experimented with Microsoft on building something uh, called P2P Mesh, which, uh, which extends the networks. At the end of the day, we, we filed 39 patents in the corporate innovation uh, uh, lean startup team. We, we, there's established ways to protect our intellectual property, and uh, we leveraged those. And uh, we've received 17 patents since, uh, since we filed all those. So some of the success we've had, just to give you a little insight, um, took a smattering of pictures from where this message has turned. So from a team of 12, 12 designers, developers, and a crazy guy, me, um, this message really resonated inside of Rockwell. Rockwell is a company of 22,000 people. 
and it became a movement. Uh, the top picture is from uh, the first non-executive keynote at uh, a Rockwell uh, event. Um, but I want to put your uh, focus on the middle picture. Uh, that is our 2016 annual report, and our product earned the right to be on top of that uh, on the cover and uh, in front of the board uh, for that approval. So it was quite an interesting journey. I could probably talk for another hour on how all this happened. But at the end of the day, one of the things I wanted to leave you with is this didn't happen because Rockwell adopted new principles. Right? This didn't happen because, because we're a corporate entity with lots of money. This happened because people inside the company really wanted to believe that we could innovate. And innovating in a corporate entity is very difficult. That's why there's lots of startups out there that do it largely for us, and we just come in and buy you. But when it sticks inside of a company, it becomes a movement. And I have this poster on my wall to remind people and remind myself that really believing that it can be done and leveraging local communities, and leveraging uh, the talent here in Cleveland has really enabled us as a company to do it. And uh, it was an amazing journey. So I appreciate the time, appreciate the, appreciate the invite to come here and talk a little bit about it. And uh, we'll catch you later.